Okay, we have here today another Okamoto 1224DX. Uh, this one uh, is in pretty nice shape. We also have a new uh, cooling system with it. Uh, this is a paper band with a float. It moves your paper along. That's very nice. Um, machine is currently wired for 220 volts. I'm going to go ahead and start the hydraulics. And we can start the spindle. It's very quiet. We can start the table. And the cross feed is in the center. Each time the table reverses, cross feed moves. We can speed that up a little bit. Now on the side here you've got a couple of knobs just like these two here that you set the distance of the stroke. Uh, over here you have a, a valve that uh, as you turn it counterclockwise uh, you get a bigger step. You have a safety in the hand wheel here. If I push that in it'll, it'll stop feeding. When I come out it'll start again. So this is a step feed. It also has a continuous. If I went up here that would feed continuously across the workpiece. And you want to stop the table. You have a button here, stop it. You have your electromagnetic chuck which is on right now and you have a you have a potentiometer to set the strength of it. Uh, we can put it on the DMAG, you'll see that uh, light blinking, that's, that's allowing this to come off. And then when we want to lock it on there again, we put the magnet back on. So when we want to start the table, uh, we just have to hit that button there, and we want to stop it, you hit that button there. So down here in the center, kind of you've got a control, little uh, mode selector so if we want to go for rapid feed up and down you put it on the little arrow that goes up and down and then you can zoom this head up or zoom this head down uh, you also have a manual pulse generator where you can set this to zero and then you can see how much you're feeding down each time you you turn this uh, knob, uh, you can go to the finest feed where you're only turning it, uh, I believe, 10 millionths each one. Uh, then your next, next largest feed there will be one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. So you got a lot of control with this. And then your largest one, which is in the, is in the thousands. And it's five, each click is five thousands or ten thousands. So that's pretty nice to have. Um, you have two different grinding modes. You have surface grinding and you have plunge grinding. Plunge grinding, um, you're not moving the saddle, you're just moving the table. So you have a little cycle here we can put in. In the edit mode, let's say I put in ten thousands. I start my table. And I turn my cycle on, and you see we go down here now in our window. We're taking a thousands each pass, going into that uh, groove that we're making, or slot, or plunge grind. It'll get down to a fine feed point or changeover point where instead of feeding a thousands, we're going to feed in there uh, a half a tenth or one tenth until we get down to zero. And then we're going to do a couple of spark out passes. You just uh, you set the amount with the potentiometer down here. Select the switch, and when it's all done, it'll park itself. Okay. Same with surface grinding. If I want to do surface grinding, I go over to the traverse or surface grinding mode, and I go into my edit. I put a, a number in there. Let's say two, three, say three thousandths. 
Uh, I start my table. So as soon as I went from plunge to surface, it automatically brought the cross slide back in. So when this reverses now, it'll go down one thousandths. I didn't turn it on. You gotta put it in the auto mode. We'll just watch it go down once or twice and then we'll. So once it gets to this reversal point on the magnet, uh, this will feed down. Fed down one thousandths to two. I could shorten up my little dogs over here so it goes quicker. Then we're going to feed down to one thousandths. And I have it set here where you are going to start feeding at five tenths before zero, which is why it didn't go a whole thousandths, it only went half a thousandths. Uh, now we're going to go one-tenth each, each, each pass. So we went from five to four, from four to three. This machine is in nice condition. This is all the original paint. A uh, new cooling system makes it really nice. Uh, it's got some accessories with it. So now we went down to three-tenths. We have this stuff over here that goes with it. Have another grinding wheel with the hub. Have a balancing arbor, which you want to balance these bigger wheels on these kind of machines. And you have a, a wheel wrench, a wheel nut wrench. This is the extractor that pops the wheel off the hub. You got a couple of wrenches, a diamond. We got a lot of stuff here. So now this has reached zero. So we're just doing empty passes back and forth across your part you just ground. And when it completes the empty passes, it's going to park. And that will be the end of the cycle. Right there. So your next job. This doesn't keep a memory. Once this goes down to zero, uh, you've got to go back, touch off another workpiece, put in the value, the actual value here uh, that you need to remove, uh, and then you start a new cycle. So at the end of every cycle, um, you have to you know, retouch off your part and give it the amount that you want, the stock removal amount. So that's it. That's the Okamoto uh, 1224DX. Thank you very much.